Hey guys, so as you can see I've already done my base, I'm just going to do an eye makeup look today. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, honey. So as per usual, my lovelies, we're going to go and prime our lids first. I'm going to take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and apply this all over the lid from like lid to brow bone so it's all nice and covered up. There's no uneven tones, veins showing through, it's just a nice blank canvas to begin off this gorgeous eye look. Next for our crease colour, I'm actually going to take two shadows from my Morphe 350 palette. I'm mixing this light brown shade with this light orange shade to create a warm tone like crease colour. It's going to be our transition. And I'm keeping it focused up pretty high in the crease area, leaving the lid pretty blank because we're going to kind of cut it out the crease a bit later on. So I just want to focus the shadows more so up further towards the brow bone. And again, I always hold the bottom of the brush to allow myself to have more control on how much pressure I'm applying when, applica when applying the shadows. I'm bringing it to about here, so not all the way towards the inner, but pretty close. I'm kind of bringing it towards the tail of my brow. Next, taking this peachy corally shade, I'm applying this with a slightly more denser brush and just below that orangey brown um, crease colour. So I want this to just fade into the crease colours. So again, holding the bottom of the brush so you have more control, just to start applying. And I go back in with some of those crease colours to soften the edges. Just have a soft blend. Next I'm taking Bitten on a pencil brush. I'm supplying this directly in the crease and fading it into that corally shade that we applied down before. So when I apply down this bitten shade, I'm actually just letting the brush fall into my natural crease. So I'm looking slightly down and just letting that brush fall into my socket and bringing that shadow around. Letting it kind of curve underneath that brow bone right here. Doesn't matter if you get some on the lid anyways because we're going to carve it out. I'm just initially just placing down this um, colour. Then just dipping back into that corally shade again, I'm just going to slightly buff out the edges of Bitten. And then just taking some of that crease colour to further just diffuse any harsh lines, darling. I know it's looking a little bit crazy now, but it's just going to get even crazier from here on in just until it looks like comes together so work with me hun we'll get there in the end don't you worry so basically all I'm doing with my cut crease is I'm just placing on the product and just following my natural crease around I don't want to really like cheat my crease to make it bigger I'm just letting the brush fall into the socket and just carve it out and I also just follow that line we've created with that eyeshadow right underneath my brow bone. Just following that line. And like, just do as best you can guys. It's not quite even for me, but I don't really mind. Because I'm not too focused on perfection. Like if it's close enough, then it's close enough for me. So for my lid colour, I'm going to grab Wisteria and place this on my inner corner and like outer wing bit. And just fade it into the centre. I want to kind of mimic a halo eye sort of thing. I more just want the lid to fade into the shimmer and like fade out to the wing. So it's going, uh, I'm kind of just playing around with shadows at the moment. I'm not 100% sure of what I want. Next, I'm going to grab black light, this absolutely stunning, stunning duochrome shadow from Makeup Geek and apply this on the center of the lid and just work it out towards the outer corners. Holy guacamole, this shadow is insanely beautiful. Ah, oh, I think you would need wisteria to be honest. Like, I guess you can see a bit of that purple poking through. But TBH, you probably don't need wisteria. Just 
just FYI, I think this shadow on its own is just... <gasps> I just placed, placed it all over. I didn't even want to, like, just leave it in the center. I decided to place it all over the lid because it's just absolutely beautiful. Oh! Yep, yeah, I've just died and gone to heaven. That is the most beautiful eyeshadow ever. Ever, ever, ever. Anywho, let's move on to the next bit. I might just go on and do the bottom lash line. And then we can do lashes last. So I do want to smudge the bottom lash line pretty low. So I'm going to take Bitten again on the Morphe brush that we used before. And I'm just going to pack this against my bottom lash line. And then with some of that corally shade, just buff out the edges. I really want this outer part to really just smoke, smoke out, just fade away. Same with the inner. And I'm just grabbing a bit more of Bitten and just really just packing that tightly against that lash line. Like so. And just for a pop of blue, I decided to grab some of Pegasus on my finger and just lightly pat that on the center of the lid. Just to give a bit, like I said, a bit more emphasis on some of that gorgeous, like turquoisey blue that's in the duo cream. Just it mixes so well with the, like the bitten shade and the and the duo chrome pigment. Like, oh, just all those shadows combined are so beautiful. Next for my inner corners, I'm actually going to apply like a base before I apply this gorgeous pigment on top. So I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's just a like a white cream base. So I'm just going to pat that in with my finger in the very inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take this absolutely beautiful Sugar Rush pigment from Makeup Geek. It's a duochrome pigment as well. I'm going to just apply this with a pencil brush. Oh, isn't that absolutely stunning? Oh. Now that we've done the Sugar Rush Sugar Rush is the sugar rush inner corner pigment like girl how pretty is that i'm gonna apply some mascara oh actually i'll do my waterline first darling so i just went in with my makeup geek full spectrum eyeliner pencil in the shade espresso it's a gorgeous like brown eye coal and place that in my bottom waterline all right next i'm gonna apply some mascara and lashes for mascara i'm going in with the colossal volume express mascara from maybelline and for false lashes today i'm going to go in with my attitude lashes in the style feisty they're gorgeous and wispy perfect to like just add a bit of length and volume but nothing too intense that it'll cover up all the gorgeous eyeshadow and all the colors behind now let's go back in with some mascara and kind of try and stick my natural lashes to my false lashes. And finally guys, for a brow bone highlight, I'm taking Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer on just a pencil brush. And I'm applying that to my brow bone. Just to give it a bit of something extra, give it a bit of a pop kind of thing. And that's the finished eye look guys. Before I finish up guys, I'm actually going to place a black eye curl along my tight line just because I want to help that lash band melt into my lash, band, lash line a little bit more seamlessly. So this concludes today's makeup look guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, got a few things out of it. So if you do like this tutorial, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also if you haven't already, subscribed down below before you leave. I'd love to see you guys in my next video. And for you guys to join my YouTube fam. This video has been pre-filmed. I am away over in Greece right now, guys. It's so exciting. So if you would like to leave any requests down below, I'll make sure to film them when I get back, which will be in a few months or so. I think I'm gone for about two and a half months, I believe. So that's exciting. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to my social media so you can keep up to date with what I'm doing over there and everything like that if you would like. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.